in our newest title, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Hello everyone, I'm Chan Park from Superbot Entertainment. When our team first announced PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale in late April, we were overwhelmed with the tremendous positive response the game received. Um, as details of our game became available, we heard from a number of you that thought that this would be a perfect game for the Vita, and we could not agree more. So today, I'm thrilled to announce that All-Stars will be available for Vita and will be cross-compatible with PS3. So to give you a demonstration of crossplay and Vita gameplay, I'm gonna turn it over to a few of our All-Stars, including Omar Kendall, our game director. Thanks, Chan. So we've got four players, two on the PlayStation 3, Paul and Mike. Paul will be playing as Kratos, Mike will be playing as Sweet Tooth. We also have two players on the PS Vita, Ed and Ray Ray. Ed will be playing as Fat Princess, and Ray Ray will be playing as Sly Cooper. So these characters will be fighting each other, and they'll be building up this energy. Uh, this energy powers a super attack. Uh, these super attacks are how our players score points. And the goal of the game at the end of our three-minute match is to have the most amount of points. Uh, I'm going to talk you through a, a match really quick. We'll be playing on Metropolis from the Ratchet and Clank universe. Each character has a different approach to the match. Uh, characters like Kratos and Fat Princess are more melee-centric, so you'll see them get into the mix of things, do a lot of combos and hard-hitting attacks. You've got characters like Sweet Tooth, who has a more patient game. He can lay mines and perform shotgun attacks, and you'll see him do that throughout the match. He's able to generate a lot of this energy while he's fighting. Then, of course, we have Sly Cooper. He does a lot of sneaking and invisibility. He does a lot of stealing from the other players, and he'll do that primarily to collect his AP. So already we're about 30 seconds into the match, and Sweet Tooth is already working on a level one super. He seems a, a fair bit ahead of the other characters right now. He's holding on to that super. Let's see, it looks like he might be going for a level two super. Each super is progressively stronger than the last. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're also better at scoring points. Looks like Fat Princess and Sly Cooper now are also at the level one super range, and now Kratos is there as well. So you'll start seeing supers going off. There you see Kratos on the board early, just got a kill on Fat Princess. He's already working on regenerating that level one super. It looks like Sweet Tooth has now crested over. He does have his level two super. Oh, and you see Captain Cork. Oh, and it's the Hydra from God of War. That famous first boss fight from the original God of War one on the PlayStation 2. Periodically, those Hydra will interact with the match, and the players will have to pay attention to that. And it does look like Sweet Tooth is holding a lot of meter right now. I think he's probably going to go for a level 3. Kratos just tried a level 1 super and didn't, wasn't successful in getting any kills. Fat Princess also has a level 2. Is she going to fire that off, or is she going to try to go for a level 3? Let's see. She does go for a level two super fat chicken. She's gonna go for some kills. The other players have to avoid her now. Nope, Sweet Tooth could not get away. She's gonna try to get a kill on Kratos. She does get a kill on Kratos and on Sly Cooper. That was a great level two super for Fat Princess. She got three kills. Meanwhile, Sweet Tooth still seems to be working towards his level three super. Kratos has tried a level one on Sly Cooper, but Sly Cooper did manage to get away. Sly Cooper also looks like he just crested over into his level two range. Let's see if he uses that now or if he holds on to that as well. All right, it does seem like 
Sweet Tooth did get his level three super Mega Tooth. It's an extremely powerful level three super. His firepower is drastically increased. He does manage to take out what looks like all three opponents. Let's see if he can score again. He does manage to get Kratos. Looked like a really good, successful level three super for Sweet Tooth there. He got about four kills. Meanwhile, it does look like Sly Cooper is gonna try that level two. Let's see if he gets any kills. He does manage to get Sweet Tooth. Not the best use of level two super. They only managed to get one kill with that. That's a pretty expensive super to only get one kill. Here we are on the last 30 seconds of the match now. It looks like that princess is perhaps working again towards a level two. Oh, Quark just got taken out there by the Hydra. Kratos back at that level one super. Let's see if he tries to use it. He does use it, but does not manage to get any kills. And their fat princess does manage to collect two kills with the level one. Does pretty well for herself there. Sweet Tooth just missing a level one super. We have 10 seconds left. Let's see what happens here. It's been a very competitive match. I'm actually not sure who's winning. Fat princess tries another level one super. Time up. And that is time. All right, let's see who wins. It looks like Fret Princess took that one. So I'd like to invite everybody out to the Sony PlayStation booth to check out both the Vita and the PS4.